Great to see you join us. Final score this afternoon, South Shields 3, Chorley 3. What's the overall emotion after that? Uh, there's a, you know, there's a bit of anger, disappointment. Um, we put ourselves in a position where we've just got to defend a, uh, defend a free kick and um, we've dealt with the first phase um, but that, and then I haven't dealt with the second phase and you know we're good at, we're good at those, those sort of things so uh, I'm really disappointed with that because uh, we put ourselves in a, in a great position and those two points make a big big difference today uh, in the league table um, and I don't care whether it's nine games three games 12 games 18 games it's important the league table we're still in a fantastic position um, we've come again to a a team that's that's full time um, and put ourselves in a position to win the game you look at our fixtures so far have been so, uh, so difficult um, that I shouldn't be disappointed and I shouldn't be angry I and mean, I should be delighted and I should be happy and there is a there is part of me the little part of me deep inside has got it's got that feeling but I just can't get rid of that at this minute in time when I sit back and look back at the performance and and how we played and assess the the nine or ten games with the cup game I'll probably look at it with a lot of satisfaction and we're unbeaten away from home we've like I said, we've had some really, really tough games, and if you if you reeled them off, um, you know, played Scunthorpe, Kidderminster, Brackley, South Shields, Hereford, Scarborough, uh, they are tough, tough games, um, and we're you know we're fourth in the league, but we could be second, and that won't change. So we'll you know we'll refresh uh, next week. Um, and I look back on the performance, you know, first half, everything that we did. You know, it, it was how we, you know, how we planned and how we thought it might go. Um, but we had that 10 minutes after half time where, you know, obviously it's a long range effort. That can happen in a game. The way they scored their second goal was how we know that they looked to get in um, and they, they'd only done that once or twice in the first half but punished us with that and then we, as we do, you know, we, we come back with great character and um, we, look, we were so wasteful, um, we had so many opportunities um, to score more goals at crucial times um, but then we come back, got the goal and obviously then, you know, we've conceded it there. So, a lot of good look there was a lot of real good things and a lot to be proud of and the players are magnificent but if you want to be right up there challenge at the very top of the league um, we can't let opportunities go like we had today to, to get three points is it a testament to the standards that we set in that ultimately we go away almost feeling like we've lost and they We'll go home from South Shields feeling like they've won the game. They, pro they probably do. We, at the minute, we feel, it, it does feel a little bit like a loss, but when we reflect on it, we, it, it won't. It won't, and we'll know that we are we are doing unbelievably well. But like you say, we do set, set our stands, standards incredibly high. You know, we're, we should be delighted with fourth. But we're not gonna we're not gonna be delighted with fourth. We've got to push on. We've got to keep aiming to be right at the top of the league. Um, it's closed up a little bit, if anything. You know, even that point it brings everybody a little bit closer. So um, Scunthorpe, aren't, you know, aren't going to be uh, invincible. That you know they've lost today. So um, it hurts at the minute. It really does. Really hurt. But there's something inside me saying, but we're doing so well. Every, you know, everything's so good. So, you know, don't you know, don't dwell on it. But the winner in us and where we want to get 
you know that hurts and that hurts and that, and, that, and it's got to hurt and it's got to be like this you know and it's got to at this minute it's got to feel devastating because then when we get in that position again you know we switch on just that little bit more and it doesn't happen touched on it briefly uh, some of the attacking output today was absolutely fantastic created a lot of chances and great to get Cole back on the score sheet as well as Mo and obviously Mark Ellis again right place right time he just can't stop scoring can he no it's great great for Cole as well to come back obviously he had a couple of games away um, with the national team he was doing well before he went away um, I feel that he will score goals um, it just needs to be in the right environment. I think, you know, that I think he got did he get two last year or something like that. So, you know, he's got two already. Um, we had another couple of attempts as well. Um, so as long as he keeps getting in the right areas, he, he'll score goals. So, you know, I, we'll keep working with him. Um, but Cole can do anything that he wants, you know, and um, he's got all the attributes. Great for Mo as well, great finish. He had a similar chance in the second half. Um, and at a crucial time where we could have, you know, it could have been 3-1. Um, you know, Elo had a chance before, well, he had a couple of chances before that at key times in the game, you know, where it could have put the game maybe out of sight. Um, but he keeps getting in there and Blake is delivering top draw. Um, so, you know, there's there there so many positive, like George Aubrey, I thought he was magnificent today, breaking things up, driving forward, creating opportunities, winning second balls. You know, he, he, was, he was a man. I could, you know, it's unfair to pick one or two out. You could go through the whole team. Um, I don't, you know, I, I just don't know how we've conceded three goals today. <laughs> that, that's the thing, because I think we've defended really, really well. But sometimes those things happen. Um, and we go on and we move on to the next one. Yeah, like you say, lots of positives, lots of time now to reflect and um, refresh the, the batteries, I suppose, and uh, look ahead to another local derby away at spending more in the FA Cup next weekend. Yeah, yeah, it's as tough a tie as you can get with the teams that are, are left in the competition. You look at um, their away record and being in the same league as us, you know, they probably you probably looked at it and there's probably three or four ties you looked at and thought, oh, that'd be tough, and, and that was one of them, you know, 16 on unbeaten um, but we're unbeaten away so far this season uh, we went there last season and got a result but we'll have to dig in and uh, we'll have to say show the same resilience that we showed here when when the game went from 2-0 to 2 each very quickly um, and you know we, we you know we, we've got that extra sting in our tail from from what's happened to us today to to kick on but you know, you you what are you cut the games away from the from the first round? So whoever gets through that tie is going to be in a in a great position. Um, but we're you know we're under no illusions at how difficult a tie we've got ahead of us. Um, but if we can have support like we did today, which you know is just magnificent. I, you know, some, something's something's turned really this season with, with our with our fans you know to get that many to travel up to South Shields on, on a Saturday um, absolute credit to them um, they made lots of noise I'm disappointed that they, you know they're not celebrating three points but I think they'll look at the performance and and, and be heartened um, with the with the way we've played so thank you to them you know we really really do appreciate it um, and please, 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 can we have more at Spennymore because we'll definitely need it.